Hey, what's up guys? Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now we're at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center again today, and we're going to talk about what not to feed your water turtle or your aquatic turtles, okay? So there's a lot of things that you can feed, but there are some things that people feed and pet stores sell that absolutely should not be fed to your aquatic turtles, all right? But before we get into that, right here in this corner, in your bottom right-hand corner there, is gonna be the YouTube subscriber watermark. It'll have the RRs, that is for Reptile Rangers there. I mean, if you're on your cell phone, widen that screen to the full screen and you'll see it right down there in the bottom right-hand corner. Go ahead and hit that and we appreciate you doing so. Now, let's get right into this. So, you've bought a water turtle, aquatic turtle, it could be red-eared slider, it could be uh, snapping turtle, could be soft-shell turtle, could be painted turtles, could be musk or mud or even some oriental types of pond turtles. Any number of species of turtles that's out there that live in water almost primarily are what we call a pond turtle or a basking turtle. Uh, they come out on land basically to bask in the sun and get the natural sunlight or they come out on land to lay eggs or to go from pond to pond to mate. Now, these guys live almost primarily in water. You'll see them when you go by ponds, especially ponds and things like that. You'll see these little heads sticking out of the top of the water. They're just kind of floating at the surface of the water. Uh, these guys are known as the pond turtles. Now, when you talk about feeding, there's all kinds of things that we can feed these kind of animals, but there's something that you absolutely, two things for sure, should never ever feed, and it's what's probably fed most commonly to water turtles. Number one is goldfish. Number two is koi, okay? Now, right here as you see this video going, beautiful, beautiful fish. They absolutely are, and they get huge. So, yes, there could be a lot of potential meaty substance to goldfish and or koi. Biggest problem is there's not actually that much nutritional content to goldfish or koi and they're incredibly high in ammonia. So it makes them very, very unhealthy for your water turtles to eat. Now, when we go talking about things that they can eat, the list is endless, uh, really, really endless when it comes to your water turtles. And Contrary to popular belief, yes, a lot of your water turtles will eat vegetation because they do eat uh, the weeds and things, pond weed, a leaf matter, and vegetation matter on the bottom of your ponds. And most of the time, there's not too much in your streams and rivers because the water's flowing too quickly for anything to really take root. Uh, but in the case where, where it's a slow-moving, really slow-moving river, and there is some, then yes, they'll eat the vegetation and can and will. So you can feed some fruits and vegetables, but understand first, Aquatic turtles cannot swallow their food outside of water. They don't have any kind of fluid in their mouth or salivary glands. So they physically have to always be in water in order to swallow their food. Now, they may come out of the water to grab the food, but they will always go back into the water so that they can swallow it. What it does is it moistens the food up, softens it up, and allows them to be able to swallow it down, kind of like we do when we eat food. Now, the thing is, once we come to a point of talking about exactly what they can eat, there is so many things that they're able to eat, okay? If we were talking natural, you could do little bugs at the top of the water. Uh, you could do fishing worms because they most anybody that goes fishing knows that turtles absolutely love stealing your bait, okay? If you want to do live fish, there is live fish that you can do. Bait minnows are great. You can put, you, know, you just go to your bait and tackle shop, put some bait minnows in there, let them swim around, let them have at it, okay? Uh, that's more naturalistic food. You can go to your pond suppliers and get um, things that they would supply a pond with, crappy, bass, catfish, uh, there's all kinds of cool things like that that are healthy for them and natural for them uh, that you can put in as a supplementation. You can also do strips of things like steak and chicken and products like that. You don't want to do that as often, uh, but again, if there's a dead bird on top of the water, they will pick it to pieces. They'll do the same thing to fish underneath the water. They'll eat frogs, they'll eat snakes, they'll eat all kinds of things, okay? So your aquatic turtles are not too terribly picky about what they eat, but generally speaking, their biggest brunt of their diet in the wild would be fish and would be bugs on the, uh, bugs on the top of the water, uh, worms and things like that that crawl into the water, maybe a heavy rain, whatever the case may be, and pond weed, okay? Um, other turtles, they will kill and eat other turtles. Uh, smaller ones, they'll predate on their, own, uh, on their own kind from time to time. Now, let's talk about processed food, manufactured food. There is some good manufactured food. Normally, uh, anybody that knows us knows that we uh, try and teach and preach against uh, uh, processed food. 
especially vegetation food or freeze-dried food because there's just not that much nutritional content to all that waste of money, okay? However, in the case of certain processed, manufactured turtle food, turtle diet as it were, uh, or floating food, there is some really good products that have a lot of different nutritional content to it. Um, you have like your turtle sticks, you have things like your whole pieces, your sticks, you've got freeze-dried, in here is mixed freeze-dried shrimp, freeze-dried mealworms. There's a variety, a variety of different foods inside of this one. Now again, going back to when you freeze-dry something, you start taking a lot of the natural nutritional contents out of it. Uh, but still, most of your aquatic turtles do love things like crustaceans, shrimp, like crawdad shrimp, things like that, uh, freshwater shrimp, they will eat that if they can, they can get their uh, mouths on it kind of concept. You have several different makers and manufacturers of these processed food. I'm not going to give one or the other because they, they're not paying us to do any kind of advertising for them, so I couldn't care less. Um, if you decide to go with the processed manufactured food. Now, with that being said, again, there are a bunch of things that you can feed to your aquatic turtles. And as you've been seeing, as I've been posting, uh, talking about some of this stuff, I've been putting pictures up here uh, of the different types of uh, readily available manufactured or freeze-dried products that's available for your aquatic turtles. But again, this is an episode on absolutely what not to feed it, but to include the things that you can feed it, which of course is a laundry list of things. Absolutely no goldfish and koi because nine times out of ten when you buy an aquatic turtle, you hear people talking about, or if you buy one, a lot of the, a lot of the places like, yeah, just throw them some goldfish and koi. Thankfully, over the years, more, more than not now, uh, more of your stores are going to, yeah, you need to feed them this right here. Uh, and that's a whole heck of a lot better than the goldfish or koi is, which is the uh, turtle sticks. So thankfully, the mindset has somewhat changed into something that is a little bit more healthy, like your uh, processed uh, floating turtle sticks there, or turtle pellets, uh, as it were. And getting away so much from pushing the goldfish and the koi, which are in super high in ammonia and not very nutritional for them. So it's not, ex it's not healthy for them. Now, again, this is Chad. We are the Reptile Rangers here at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center. We appreciate you following along week after week after week. Make sure to write us in, leave comments, let us know of other things you want us to film about. Uh, we appreciate you uh, subscribing. And for those that have subscribed, we appreciate your subscription and tuning in video after video. Our information will be in the description below if you have any questions. People are calling us or texting us or messaging us all the time now uh, with medical questions, with uh, habitat questions, feeding questions. Uh, they're getting in touch with us uh, by the droves now and happy to be able to help out. But our information will be down there in case folks need to get in touch with us with a specific question, okay? Now again, I am Chad. We are the Reptile Rangers here at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center. We'll either see you here at the zoo or we'll see you on the next episode. Later.